Welcome to the newest round-based zombies game that could give Call of Duty Zombies a run for its money. This, my friends, is the brand new release game Skur Ritual. Out right now on PC, PlayStation, and Xbox, created by five indie devs with the sole purpose of trying to make a frustrated COD Zombies community happy with some new nostalgic old-school round-based zombies. And the end result is so impressive that I had to check it out. It's launched with four round-based zombies maps for the Call of Duty Zombie mechanics we know and love, like rounds, points, perks, pack-a-punch. Each map also has its own main easter egg quest with storyline cutscenes, and even final boss fights and that's exactly what we're going to do in this video by trying the sewers of the dead map there's been so much hype for this game so thank you sky ritual for sponsoring this but let's jump in game so here we are in sewers of the dead and wow where the heck are we this does not look like a normal sewer but i'm already a lot more freaked out than i would be from normal zombies this is super creepy i can barely see these zombies They've got axes. So we're starting with a good old, what feels like an M1911. And it's pretty strong to start off with. And as we see, we're progressing through rounds. So we've got an ammo blammo machine. That is so cool. And a miracle point. So I think as we go through the rounds, we can upgrade ourselves. So let's see. Oh, this is so cool. This is like the covenants from Vanguard. So we can get different upgrades as we go through. But yeah, we need to make our way up here. So shoot the rat pod to destroy blockage. Okay, I'm going to have to shoot this a couple of times, I reckon. There we go. Now we can exit the sewer. All right, that's what I want to do. Oh, okay, so spend the points. My God, though, this is so horrifying. It's almost like a horror game at this point. Okay, we've got drops as well. And this is only one of four maps you can currently play. Triple points. I mean, I'll take it. But I would like to get to somewhere a little bit brighter. Okay, so we've got to shoot this pod as well. All right, there we go. Open up through here. Okay, this is so creepy. Okay, we've got guns. We've got ammo. Okay, we've got a hunting rifle. Let's go. Oh, let's go for the MP5. Yeah, this is a bit of me. But as you can see, in terms of the like pop-ups, it's very similar to Call of Duty Cold War Zombies. And the whole thesis behind this game is that it's five indie devs that want to create a game that satisfies the wants and needs of the zombies round-based community who are frustrated with the lack of it up to this point. Oh my god, our melee is so powerful. Okay, so we can buy a life token. So I think we have afterlife in this game mode. That's so cool. Okay, let's continue for. So let's buy this. Visually, this looks so sick. I can't get over how creepy this is. Like, for the longest time, I've wanted a zombies that feels creepy like World at War, you know? And visually, this is doing it. And also, sound wise, the zombies just stomping around. This is frightening. Okay, so we finally made it outside. But as you notice, this is both round based. Oh my god, that's a big boy. As well as having objectives, which I like. So we can do a bit of both. So the next objective, go through the train and open the strange box. Oh, now we've got a trial. Kill quiet ones within the radius of the machine to extract their essence. Oh, whoa, the stranger was summoned. Oh no. Okay, let's open up through here. Oh no, we're on such a narrow train. I don't like it. Oh my god, what is that? What is going on? What is this? Okay, I'm taking this safeguard. I need it. Yo! This is frightening! What on earth is this? Bro shooting lasers. Oh my god. And we got explosive zombies as well. Nah, dude. Oh my god, they throw fire. Look at that, though. That is absolutely frightening. I'm definitely going to need to get some ammo really soon. And by soon, I mean like now. All right, he's gone. And what did he drop? Infinite ammo. That is my type of drop. Okay, we need to take down this on the train so we can make our way through. It's giving me like Stranger Things vibes in all honesty. Okay, make our way out through the train. So many of these, man. This is so claustrophobic. Okay, we've opened up the box. Eliminate all the demon flags. Oh my God. Oh, I'm not in a good spot right now. Oh my God. Let's get some ammo. <laughs> Southern death. Oh, is this like an insta-kill? Oh, let's go. Acquire the plague weapon. What is that? Okay, here it is. All right, so we've got a, a wonder weapon. Use the plague to destroy the shelled pods to access the radio tower. Dude, the detail in this is nuts. Look at that thing. Okay, so use the plague to destroy the shelled pods. Well, the radio tower's there. Is this the shelled pods that we're talking about? Yeah. All right, let's spend this for 1,500 points. Wow. Like, just the detail and atmosphere in these maps is insane. A new objective, stop the machine. Oh, we've got a little doggy here. Okay, there's a max ammo. That's what I needed. I'm actually creeped out. I am fully creeped out. Oh, no. Because I didn't do the trial mission, the enemies are enraged till the end of the round. Okay, let's try our luck. Oh, we've got a shotgun. Do I want to get it? But it's tier one, which means 
You can definitely upgrade stuff, but oh my god. Do we go in there? Okay, this shotgun, it's it's doing bits. It's doing bits, but I know I need to go inside there and I'm scared, dude. All right, let's go. Wait, what? There's water? Oh no. Oh, we actually can't go in it. Okay, this is definitely for something a little bit later on, I feel. Okay, there was a door here, so let's go ahead and open this. And what have we got going on in here? Oh, we've got a life token in there. That's good. And we've got new guns. I'm going to buy this because this looks definitely like something we want. It's like an AK. So I needed to have been shooting these things. I mean, it's so obvious when you see it now. There we go. Oh, we got another. We got a new trial. Stop the radio tower. Okay. Destroy it. And there we go. We finally completed our first trial mission. Nice. So now shooting that has opened a trap door. And now we are inside the radio tower. There we go. Oh my God. This is so creepy. Oh, our first perk. Stallion juice. I'm tempted to buy it. Let's get it. Increase your movement speed. Hell yeah. Okay. Let's head further down still. And I think we're here at the brains now. Clear the rat's nest from around the central chamber. There's a heck of a lot of spores. Also got a few that we've got to shoot with our plague gun. There's our four. Oh no. Round nine. Okay, we've got some sort of new enemy. It just electrocuted me there. Oh, they are really high up on the walls as well. Oh, there's also two where we first came up. No wonder I couldn't find them. That's sneaky. Okay, there we go. So now, acquire all chamber keys to open the central chamber. Okay, so there... Oh, oh my God, that jump scare. Oh my God, he came out of nowhere. Okay, so there we go. Shoot radio targets in the sequence shown on the machine. Wait, what? Okay, so we can see there's an order of colors there. Red, green, blue. I think we just need to shoot them in the correct order there that we see on the machine. Red, green, blue. All right, that's one. Dude, doing this with zombies is so hard. And I've also got to be aligned as well. Oh man, this is going to be hard. Okay, there we go. I think we've done it. So now we can acquire the chamber key. And there we go. So that's one of four. Uh-oh, your boy's out of ammo. Oh, here we go. We picked up another thing. Open the cell door to the quiet one. Oh my God. It is all going on here. Oh my God. Okay, so I'm now in afterlife. So my body is now somewhere on the map and I need to go and revive myself. Oh, so there we go. I'm now back. Oh, that's such a cool system. Right, I don't want to make that mistake again. So over there, I acquired the mind control helmet. And now I need to open the cell door to the quiet one. Okay, so the cell door to the quiet one. Taking us all the way back to the start. Oh my god. Dude, the jump scares. Horrifying. What is this? <gasps> yes, increase our life by 33%. So there are a bunch of perks that I've missed. So we want a life token. Is this Pack-A-Punch? Oh, yo. Pack a punch is here, although we don't have quite enough yet. What is this? Shock and load. That's like electric cherry. Nice. And what the heck? Escort the quiet one to the flooded sewer passage. Okay. Follow me, buddy. He's got a mind of his own. Come with me. Oh, what? We have to pay points for him to move? I don't think that's a very fair system. You're costing me pack a punch, my friend. The most expensive zombie I've ever paid for in my life. Okay, we are so close. Oh, really? I didn't have to spend that money. We could have done this the hard way. Oh, no. Right, well, this is going to take quite a while. So um, let's speed this up a bit. Oh, no, the zombie died out. Oh, no, not the stranger. Can we get rid of him this time? Yeah, so this weapon doesn't do a lot to him now. Yeah, I want to focus on taking out most of the horde before we even try to take him out because he's going to use all our bullets up. No way. No. Thank God I had another health point. So now I need to spend points to get another one of those health points back. And I still can't afford pack a punch. It's almost to the point where I just want to spend my points to speed him up. Let's do it. Buddy, you are so close. Look how close he is now. Right, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Okay. Drain the sewer passage. Okay, so let's crank that. And another one here. And that's drained it enough that we can go down. And there we go. We got our second key. Let's go. And he's just chilling there. Okay, two down. Only two to go. So our next key is here. Eliminate speed freaks and collect coins for the ticket machine. These are absolutely frightening. Okay, so they're dropping coins. I just need to make sure I actually get them. Okay, infinite ammo. That's good. We've got three coins. So let's deposit that. Wait for the ticket to print. Oh, no. We're going to get other things spawning in the meantime. Uh, this is a full-on zombies Easter egg. Okay, now we need to locate the luggage of nw okay but we're heading back to where we found our our boy not really happy about this but again we need to get that pack a punch we need it although i think our gun might be tier one already i'm not too sure but here we go we need to locate the luggage it's somewhere in here oh there we go nw 
Uh, but there's nothing in there. So that's not the right one. Uh, is it this one? No. But Cypher's in here. I'm going to get so lost if I get trapped down here. Let's get to the end of the round before we do anything. But I really need to buy another afterlife. You can just feel how weak my gun is now. Okay, wait. Please. Yes. All right, we got a code. I have noted that code down. But that's so cool. Like, to me, this is much like a final right WW2 zombies vibe where you're sort of being told what to do a little bit with the easter egg but i'm i'd rather that there's a combo oh oh that's so cool so i noted it down so we need this to be that we need this to be like a weird hedgehog there we go there we go we got it acquire the key all right there we go three or four we just need one more now oh increase rate of fire oh yes please okay now I need to save up. So now I think I need to go potentially either down there or underground again. And I love that instead of double points, we've got triple points. Like, that's more like it. That's what I want. Okay, I have enough to pack a punch. Okay, here we go. Finally, pack a punch. Oh, yes. Look at this. Yo, that thing looks a little bit beefy. I'm happy with that. Okay, so what the heck? Shoot all quiet ones with the plague. Right. Thank God I kept the plague, right? Oh, damn. So all of these need to be shot. And there are quite a few around the map in areas which we have not even opened yet. So I might need to try this again at another point. Oh, I was not prepared for this. Oh, so thankfully, if you don't do it in time, it just simply resets the timer back. So that's good. Okay. And then we need to open this. And we've got one here. Then there's one on the train. If you remember this section here. Then go out here and then shoot shoot this one over there. Oh, we've done that just in the nitch of time. And now we need to shoot a purpled shelled pod with the plague. This is down here. Okay, it's about underground. Oh, oh, okay. So now we're back where we started pretty much. What the heck? King of the rats. Eliminate the mutated rat. Uh, oh my God, he's sucking me in. Dude, what the heck? Okay, we've got a little mini boss fight and I don't need to use the plague on him. Wow, he's actually a bullet sponge. Can I take him out of here? Yes, I can. Hold on. I want to take him outside and see what he really looks like, you know? I couldn't imagine doing this in a normal zombies round. That Whoa! Okay, how good is the plague against him? It's not terrible, but I've definitely seen better. Oh, here we go. Right, infinite ammo. Okay, this is, this is how you make a boss fight a little bit, a little bit easier to deal with. There we go. King of the rats defeated. Now unlock the central chamber's doors. And I'm pretty confident I can pack a punch this again if I want. Let's get that pack a punch on. Oh, no. I'm so close. 15k. And now eliminate enemies in the radius to escort the hangman with the fuel. I don't like this one bit just because of how close quarters this is. But I need to work out where the radius is because it should be like a small circle somewhere that I've got to stand in. Okay, so here's the radius. Please, I need I need more zombies. This is horrifying, bro. Okay, there we go. We're finally starting to get some, some zombies, some movement. Okay, so luckily they don't have to be right next to me. They're just going to be near it. I'm only 28%. I'm coming back. I need a pack a punch. But now I'm really worried that this is not a good thing to do. But I need that firepower. Okay, there we go. You can also see now that I pack a punched again, the gun looks even better than it did before. I'm stressed, man. There's just so much in this room. The sounds these zombies are making. Oh, yeah. oh, it's horrifying. It's actually horrifying. I've got an idea. I'm going to train all the zombies up. Then I'm going to bring them down. Okay, I might be wrong. I thought this was going to make it easier. It is not. What the heck? Oh my God, just look at how many there are. That's got to be doing it. Oh, now it gives me a sudden death. Really? Round 20, man. To me, this is so much harder than Call of Duty Zombies. And the fact this has different difficulty options as well. I like normally filling up just like a soul box would never take this long. Okay, we're risking it. We're risking it. 92, 99. Yes. All right, we're done. We're done. We're done. Pick up the teleportation fuel. I mean, give me a second. Holy moly. Okay, place the fuel in teleportation machine. We need to go a bit further down for that. Okay, here we go. What? Defeat the stranger. Where the heck am I? I think we're in a boss fight, boys. Okay, I'm looking for a stranger. I'm like in the upside down or something. This is crazy. Is that the stranger? That's the stranger. Oh my God, what the heck is this? He's like a puppeteer. Okay, so he's currently looking out for us. Oh my God. I shouldn't have ended the round when I had the chance. But what a big boss. Where has he gone? What is he doing? Oh my God. Oh, we need to head inside. Okay, is that him? Oh Lord. 
Oh, no. No, please not here. I think it's still round based. Let's calm down a little bit. Let's take out some of these. Okay, he's back. Oh, is it all? We start all over again. I've got to say, the way that the zombies respawn around you, the whole game so far has been completely petrifying. You have nowhere to run. Okay, one zombie left. Let's take him down and see what happens next. Okay, so he's gone again. And as expected, it is not the end. There are so many more zombies spawning. We've got this big monster thing that we need to take down. I didn't mean to end the round. The zombie bled out. Okay, that might have brought the stranger back out, has it? Oh, it has. All right, into your next eye we go. And he's gone again. Okay, this is where we get in the realm of unknown territory. Because there is so much after us now. This is by no means easy. But just look at this. There is so much. I'm assuming I need to go back underground again. But I just can't afford to get overwhelmed down there. Wow, we've only taken out one of those big boys. No way. No, we were so close. Holy moly. Oh my god. But that was just one of four round based zombies easter egg experiences on Skur ritual we were so close to sewers of the dead and that was on easy as well that was not easy i definitely want to play more of this game on the channel so you guys need to let me know if you want to see more but you need to check this game out created by five indie devs that wanted to appease a frustrated round based zombies community and man what a game they have if you want to get it for yourself go ahead and check the link down below in the description thank you so much to Skur ritual for sponsoring this video and I'll see you for another one soon.